What is going on guys? Grave here today. I'd like to talk about the Golden Vendor in the Elder Scrolls Online and how a lot of people in the community would like to see a update to the Golden Vendor. Now, if you're not sure what the Golden Vendor is, is a vendor that comes to Cyrodiil every week, sells things like jewelry, will sell things like, uh, you know, monster head, monster shoulders. There's been a big topic of conversation on the forums as of late, but this has been a topic of conversation over the last couple of years even, but lately it's kind of picked up some traction again. And that's a lot of people wanting to see the gold vendor, uh, the golden vendor updated. And I would, I would say I, I really agree with this. I, I've talked about this in the past, even before. I think the golden vendor is a bit kind of out of date. It, it is something that a lot of players in the past used to always go make sure every Friday they were on, you know, they might go to the furniture vendor, the golden vendor. That's what I always do. But a lot of people have kind of quit going to the golden vendor because a lot of the options we have, especially when it comes to monster heads or shoulders are just kind of the same thing. Or there's some of the things that, you know, that we would like to see there have not been there in years. There's people talking about that, that some of these sets have not been offered for the last year or two. So I think Zoss could really, you know, kind of overhaul that golden vendor. Now I do understand that they're not going to want to put every single monster set in the game at the golden vendor at some point during the year because then that will kind of take away from you buying that DLC for the current year. So for example, if they put all the, you know, high aisles monster sets we have, you know, from all the chapters so far, that would kind of be, you know, I think a thing that Zoss wouldn't like to do because then, you know, you don't have the option of, or another reason for people to go out and really buy that DLC because they would already be able to get that monster set, whether they have it or not from the golden vendor at some point during that year. But to me, I think Zoss could start adding in some of these older monster sets from DLCs. I would really like them. Uh, I would really like to see them kind of put everything monster set wise at the Golden Vendor at some point during the year, besides maybe the current year's content. So, for example, uh, if you took this year, everything that's in High Isles wouldn't be available at the Golden Vendor, but every other DLC's, uh, you know, monster sets would be available. Now, would they ever do that? I'm not sure. Maybe they would go uh, the last two years worth of content uh, when it comes to monster sets. So the last two years worth of DLCs, those monster sets wouldn't be available, but everything past that would be. I understand they're still going to say, you know, that's encouraging people to buy DLCs, but I don't know if really monster sets are, what are what's encouraging people. And also to me, there's a lot of monster sets out there that aren't really that great that, you know, people really don't use they're not in meta but at the same time some players might like to try different builds with them try some unique things so i really hope zoss looks at the golden vendor in general there's a lot of things they could do with the golden vendor but i think when it comes to monster head and shoulders there should be an update to this we shouldn't have you know some of these sets that have been around forever and that really would be the only options we have because most people probably like me at this point if you played for a really long time if you go to the golden vendor there's really never never anything there that you absolutely need unless you're trying a new build or something and you want a different you know like style where it comes to heavy medium or light maybe you don't have one of the others so you just pick one up for that but for the most part most people now if you've played for a long time don't really even visit the golden vendor because there's no reason considering most of the sets you're already going to have and the sets that you may not have are really not an option to be sold at the golden vendor so i think zoss should look at this somehow change up you know what the golden vendor offers and at least offer if there is a way to do this everything that we have available to us besides like i said maybe the you know current year of content so kind of do like they do eso plus where you know when you get eso plus it comes with everything except the current year's dlc they could do that with the golden vendor as well leave me a comment with your thoughts if you have any other ideas definitely leave me, leave me a comment let me know those and of course, if you like the video, hit the like. If you hadn't subscribed yet, please do so. And I'll catch you next time. Peace.